God's beauty is all around us. And my goal as an artist is to capture and interpret that beauty on canvas and to take you, the viewer, along with me on this painting journey. Hello, and welcome to Painting Journeys. My name is Kitty Lynn Klisch, and we're going to be journeying home today. But first of all, I want to tell you about the painting that I did on our last episode. After I worked on it here in the studio, I, um, I took it back with me to my home studio, and I made a few changes. I wanted, to do, I wanted the painting to be more about the truck. And, and to feature the truck more. So I, I, I brought the truck more to life and I changed the uh, road a little bit to make that a little more convincing. And I added some nice bright lights and some darks to it. I had some yellow sunflowers here before. I didn't like the way that looked. I thought it was kind of, uh, just didn't go with it. And, um, so I just added just some kind of a weed or whatever to make it look a little more natural. Um, as I told you last time, the farmer was so nice, he came out and he started up the truck and he moved it around and got it in just the right position for me so that I could paint it. And uh, so there it is. There's the portrait of, uh, of the old International and the name of it is Starter Up. So, uh, but now um, every... Every journey that anyone takes, there's always that special time when you are coming home and, and you arrive home. So our journey today is going to be about arriving home and um, it's winter time and you go up stairs, I do anyway, to the second level of my home where, where my living room is and I look out the window and this is what I see, this beautiful scene. The sun has gone down and the street light has come on early and there's this gorgeous glow about everything and you probably can't see it on camera but there's reflections of reds and golds here on the snow and I thought you know, beings, it's time for the holidays, and everyone always goes home for the holidays. I thought that this would be a good painting um, to, to do for you. So I have what I've done this morning before I, I came to the studio. I laid in my pretty much my background of my sky and the glow where the light is going to be. And this is that dark road that's back there. Um, and th this is some snow. And this is where the dark snow starts to come forward. Now we've got to put the trees in, big heavy trees, and there's a tree over here. And some of this we're gonna leave out. Um, I'm probably going to leave this out, and I'm gonna bring this flower shape and put that there instead because that's our old rocker and I, I don't know, it's not too, it doesn't look like it would do much for me. So I'm just gonna bring this flower with the snow on it in and I'll put that in that area. So we might move things around a little bit to make them more artistically pleasing to the viewer. So once again, this is Kitty Lynn Klisch and you're watching Painting Journeys and we're gonna start to work right now. Get the right brush. Got my palette all laid out. In fact, I, I started painting this morning for the background, so I already have some piles of, of paint mixed up and it's nice and juicy. I'm working with a little more of a limited palette today than I, that I normally would work with. But um, I think what the first thing I want to do is start with my wipeout tool and start drawing drawing some of the of the things that I see in here. It's, I very subtly, I know you probably can't see it, but I very subtly put 
um, some trees in. And I'm going to just come out a little bit more here and kind of draw those in um, to give me a little bit of a, of a way to go here. And this, this blank space here, that's all covered with the dark green trees. And then there's a branch that's coming out this way and, and it's got things hanging on it and it's going to be, have the, the branch with the snow on it and everything. And this is all going to be dark green here. Then we have a littler one right about here and it's a different type of evergreen tree. Now I'm just terrible for the names of things because my husband, if he was here, he could tell you the name of each one of these different kinds of of um, trees, but um, um, I can't. Okay, and then there's another little one right here close. Okay. And then right back here, we have this little peak. And there is going to be a show the church back there. So I'm just, I'm just kind of trying to, to draw this in. Now, right here, right about here, is where this street light is. There's another little tree right about here. That's just a little baby tree. And so it's going to be right about there. And then the street light is right here. And it's coming like so. I'm drawing this with my wipeout tool because I'm trying to take out the painting that I put underneath this um, so that I can put that on there now. Um, this is coming down all the way because it's on this side, it's on my property. Uh, this back here, this dark strip back in here is the road that's behind all the trees and everything. The light is on my side. In fact, one day or one night, someone came around the corner and took out the light so when the city came back out and they put it back up, they never made it straight. Um, it's kind of a crooked light now. And I'm going to put this down here, and that's going to be that flower that, big, it's a big metal flower, looks like a daisy. And that's going to be that, it looks like a palm tree right now, that's kind of funny. Um, okay, and I'm just trying to get how I want to go with this. Okay, um, I have the light. Now, for the sake of the painting, as I, as I was saying, I have to compose this and I have to, it isn't so important to me that I make the painting look exactly like my front yard. What's really important to me is that I make it look like good art, pleasing art to look at. So. I may delete some things, I may move some things around a little bit. This is what you do as a painter. And you, and you feel free to do that because it's very important. Now right here, I have this little crooked tree going up. And I love that because everything else is so straight. I love that movement. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that coming up right back here, I think, and it's going to be coming up there, and, and it's t much taller than the light, so I have to take that off, and there's going to be snow on all of these branches, and I'm, not, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, we're not going to get this done today, but we're going to give it a good try, and you'll get to see how it's all laid in. Then the next show that you watch after this one I'll show you what it looks like all completed won't that be fun yeah all right and we've got a few more trees in here we can put in there's actually quite a bit of stuff there okay and this is all branches around in here all right so, I think the first thing I'm going to do is the light, because the light is the furthest thing away. Okay. 
You know, when you've been away from home for a while and you come, you come home and you just have such a feeling of joy to be in your space, in your safe place. It's not easy traveling. Sometimes it can be quite scary. I'm just going to put this in, in a little darker right there and put the put the lamp post in. Coming down. Oops. Uh, I can see right now we're going to have to make some changes there. So we'll just come in with the outside and bring the bring the outside in and clean that up a little bit. It's kind of hard to to paint from the side like this, but we'll get it. We've done it before. We can do it again. Yep. There we go. I don't like that, so I'm just going to take my paper towel and wipe it out right there. There. Gone. All gone. Just like that. Now we'll put this light back in here. I think today I'm going to have to paint very loose in order to get this on here. And then if we have time, then we'll refine. Okay, where'd that dark? Okay, here it is. <laughs> I talk to myself a lot when I'm painting. All right, this has got a little... Okay. I have to keep changing the brush for the color. All right, now we will mix up some of the dark color for the trees I'm using a little bit of the sap green and the cad red light. to make a nice warm, well, I guess it really isn't warm. When I look at it again, it's really rather of a cool, cool brown, almost a grayed brown. So we'll put some ultramarine blue in there and cool that off. This is going to be for the trunks of the trees. And they're going to have snow over them. So what's going to happen is that we're going to have to just paint possibly part of the tree and leave the other part unpainted so that we can put the snow on it. Okay. That's this tree right here. Okay, so we have this little baby tree that's coming up right in here. And then there's another one that's quite a bit rounder. And it's a little higher, and it's a little more uh, flayed at the at the edges there. Okay, and then 
Here's our tall, tallest one. It's also a larger tree. In the, in the winter time, the deer come and visit me. One time I went to my kitchen window and there were five deer standing outside my kitchen window eating this um, bush that I have. And they're such beautiful creatures and they visit all the time. They come and they walk. This is a, a road right back here. They walk down this road and then they come up over the hill because I sit on the hillside. They come up over the hill and they walk right around this lamp and this tree and come around to the back of my house and eat my bushes. And then they move on. And then sometimes they'll very jauntily just walk right across the lawn, the, the, the lawn, which is covered with snow, walk right across the snow and right between the trees and go right on down the hill and disappear. And I live in, in, a, in a subdivision. Um, I mean, there's houses all around me. And yet we are pretty close to the river with the woods. And so it's just amazing that these deer are, they're almost like pets when they do this. And it's really, it's really quite amazing. Um, and I remember one, one day I was looking out the kitchen window. It sounds like that's all I do is look out, out the kitchen window. But I do spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Uh, I love to cook. And so out in back was this gorgeous fox sitting between my house and the neighbor's house. He was just beautiful. And there was some sunshine there. Um, and he was laying on this patio block, just laying there. And like he was probably waiting very patiently for a rabbit to come out. But he was absolutely beautiful. So red, gorgeous. And then another day, my husband and I were sitting and having lunch, and we looked at our cross street, and here was a turkey walking right down <coughs> middle of the cross street. We live right on the corner. It was crazy, you know? I mean, all this wildlife right there in the, in the area. I mean, it was just, it was crazy. But I guess the poor things, they don't have any, any place to, to go now. We've taken their, their space, made it our own. So now we have to commingle, share. Hmm. There we go. I like that. I like that color. It's nice and juicy. You notice I'm not going to be real fussy about, you know, making the, the perfect tree. That's not what this is about. It isn't about it being perfect. It's about it being convincing. If it's convincing, it works. If it's not, then you have to keep working on it. This has got lots of dark back here. Yeah, you know, I can see when I get back to my studio, my home studio, I'm going to be putting quite a bit of time into this to finish this for you. I want this to be done for you so that you can see it for the holidays and hopefully it'll make you want to go home for the holidays too. If you live away, There we go. Now, well, this one's just a little bit smaller, so I'm getting a little carried away here. 
Oh, well, my tree grew. It's a year later. <laughs> that can happen. When we first moved into this home, all these huge trees that you see, you couldn't see them for the, the grass, the wild grasses in front of the place. You couldn't, you, you couldn't see the trees. They were all only two or three feet high. And in the 15 years that we've lived there, we have these great big giant trees that have totally blocked us off from the street. It's marvelous. It's marvelous to be able to stay in one place. I was, I've always been a traveler myself, been all over the United States, lived all over. In my younger days, I really traveled a lot before I settled down, got married, raised children. Yep. But here we go. You see how that's all full and everything? So we'll, but we'll be able to get that fullness when we come back in here and we put the white on it. But we can't put the white over the, over the, the green. We can't do that. We have to wait until the green is dry in order to do this. So this is what I would consider to be more of a layered painting rather than, than a la prima which means wet into wet. All right, now we've got a little bit going this way, a little bit going that way, a little bit that way, a little there. This is coming out here. Okay. There, okay. Now you, right away you see how it's starting to come to life, even though the trees don't have the snow on them, they're starting to come to life because they're, that dark is balancing all of the light in there that I laid in as my underpainting so that I would have my background in there. Mm -hmm. And then when I lay the snow on here, I will pull out branches and put the snow shape on there, uh, and that is what will distinguish each tree from the other one. You'll see that on the next show, what I, how I have handled that. I'm not, I will explain it to you then. Okay. All right. All right, and then we have another tree right in here. See, if I try to put the white on now, on these trees, it will it will look, um, the green will just, will, will have light green snow. We don't want that. Back here, there is a church. Need a smaller brush. Okay. And the tree will come back up over that. These, these branches that are over here are going to have a lot of reds and golds on them. Right in here. Be 
because of that light. Maybe that's a little too bright. Let's take that back a little bit. A little more yellow. It's very warm. Most of this is, uh, is what is considered cool painting, temperature-wise. But this light on here is very warm, and we're going to have that in a lot of places where this light is is glowing on this. And I want to go ahead and, and get that in there on the side of that tree and down in here. Okay. All right. And we've got branches behind here. Okay, what did I do with that little perfect brush I had? This must be it. Alrighty. I'm just gonna put that little cross up there just so I I know that it's there. I might have to come in and and um, make it a little use a smaller brush, but I don't want to do this really isn't the point to do the detail, but I just want to make sure that I have that, that up there so that we can see that that cross is there. I'm going to work on that later. Okay. All right. Now we've got more trees to put in. This one here that is coming is two trees and it's coming like this. I need a smaller brush. I brought the whole arsenal with me today. Okay. You never want to paint the trees so that they look like wet noodles. You want to keep the, the movement short and jointed. That's what makes for an exciting looking tree, limb or branch. And then there's another one coming right down here. Okay, now then, these have that same reddish-orange glow um, right in this area here. And in here, okay. And, right, and then I have, I know you probably can't see it, but I have this really neat little sculpture that's right here. And I'm going to put that right, right here. Make that out. Um, right here. And it's kind of tall. It's a circular disc with kind of a curvy thing that stands down. And then it has some things that go around it. And it has some spikes, not spikes, but, you know, it's a lawn sculpture. But it's all covered with snow, so it's kind of cool. So I'm going to get that in there. I think that that would be kind of cool to have that. And so we'll put that in here and coming down. And... Here and here. Now that's going to be covered with snow, but right in the center of it, it's very bright orange because it's kind of an amber glass, and that will help to pick up the the um, 
color of the of the street lamp, but I'm going to knock it down a little bit because that was a little too bright. Okay. And I might make that smaller. Right now I'm just trying, I'm feeling my way across the canvas, actually. It is a journey. I'm trying to um, show where everything is going to be. And um, and yet give you something to look at, too. There's lots and lots of branches over here. So coming off of all of this, we're going to have tons of branches, and those branches are going to have snow on them. And OK, this flower that's right in here. OK. Now that's a, that's, it's a cop, copper sculpture that my husband purchased for me for our anniversary one year. And it's really beautiful. And it's supposed to be a big um, flower. Almost looks like a big Gerber daisy. I'm just going to put this on it here, and then so much of it is covered with snow. And that's kind of what it looks like. And then when I put the snow on top of it, that'll be fine. And it's got a little round bump right there, the daisy. All right, so now we need to fill some of these branches back in here. We have all these branches going every which way in here that are showing the, the, the light. The light is showing on them. Yeah, let's darken our post a wee bit. I have a miniature parrot, and whenever I leave on one of my journeys, my my parrot has to stay stay at home, and my husband takes care of her. And when I get home, and she's naturally very, very happy, very excited. She's truly a little gift. She has such a personality. Today as I was getting ready to come and do the show, why she was calling to me, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Usually I'll stop whatever I'm doing and run over to her cage and give her a kiss because if she can say it, I ought to be able to do it, huh? Wouldn't you think? No, she's lots of fun. One year, on a journey that, that we'll take together, on painting journeys, I, uh, I took her with me to Sedona, Arizona, just the two of us in the car, and she rode on my shoulder almost all the way there. It was fun. She was a good girl. I want that to show up just a little bit lighter. I want to give you something so that you can kind of see where we're going here with this. Okay, now let's see here. Well, we've got a lot of business in here that we'll do the best that we can with. And these are all, these are all um, right here. Okay, I see something. This should be the blue snow because that's on the other side. And that's the snow coming forward. And we do have 
lots of color in that snow also. Um, excuse me, there's some oranges. Right in here underneath this little tree where the light is kind of, of um, get this just the right temperature here. Okay, that's that's the snow behind there. And it's very red, right? Right over in here underneath this tree, there's a glow of red showing. Okay. And then coming down on top of the snow here, we have the red glowing from the light. I spend a lot of time looking out this window, window in, in the winter time, around the holiday time. We don't do much for decorations, but it's God's natural beauty is decoration enough. Just look at that street lamp with all of the glow and everything. It's just really beautiful. I think I need to get more of the, of the darker branches in there. Darker, smaller branches up in here, and it's all coming off of here. Here's another little tree coming up right here. And we're going to have a lot of branches coming out. All this is going to be all covered. I don't want to do too much because I have to simplify, otherwise it won't look authentic to you when you look at it. Okay, let's see here. I do see, okay, I see what I see what I've missed here. I just saw the background. Should have gotten that in there first. Way back in the distance is some trees that are coming back here. So we're just going to go in and pop that in there. That's what the trouble is. Because that isn't sky all the way down. How could I have missed that? See? You can even have your own television show and not know what you're doing sometimes. <laughs> but it's always good when you find out and catch up with yourself. There we go. We've got bushes and trees that are going all the way back in there. And that is the background. I should have put all that on first for you, but now you're actually getting to see how an, uh, how an artist struggles with the, with the um, painting sometimes. Sometimes it's better to see problems when they're worked out on the canvas than it is to see a perfect um, rendering just fall together. Because now, in watching me with my struggles, if you're a painter, it tells you, well, you can do it too, and maybe better than me, you know? So, okay, so now we've got a little bit of a dark background. Now we'll take a light, and we'll put some lighter snow back here. I'm trying to be real careful now not to make it too gray. In my photograph, my background is actually clear up here. 
But photographs have, have a tendency to make things go much further away than they actually are. So I don't want to take it that far back. I want to make it like I know how it is. And it's, it's much, much closer. So this is, this is the snow back there as it goes. And then we have those trees. And it's kind of, oh, how can I say, kind of, um, hmm. OK. And then I'm going to have to come back in and put those trees, the tree limbs and everything back in there. But there, that, that is going to be better. Let's see here. We'll just kind of scribble this in a little bit. So we have a little bit of the background in there. Okay. Now we'll go over a couple of things to reinforce them. Um, like our trees. Our branches. I need that smaller brush again. Where is it? Now those are all going to have little red highlights on them, and there's just a lot of of stuff up here. And I'm trying to be selective. The focal area of my painting is right in this area here, where all the light is. Okay. Alrighty. And then we'll Come over here, put a little pink against the side of this, warm it up a little bit. Some of these branches are coming back in too, and because they're they're coming down and and so then we'll take some of this and we'll make, try to make some more of these little branches that are growing in front of this guy here. And there's one big branch that's coming right up, right up and across him. That's this one here. Comes up and over, and then it's gone. OK. Maybe we'll make this a little darker back there to show up just a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now put a little bit more color in here and make a few more of those. There we go. Um, when we put the snow on these, that's going to make a big difference in how everything looks. And let me see if I can put some snow on. Um, let me take the knife. Just, just for the sake of being able to show you what that would look like. 
I'm going to see if I can put some snow, lay some snow on top of that wet green paint. This is going to be really a challenge um, without the, the white turning um, green. I'm just going to load up my knife and I'm just going to take and see if I can put just a little bit maybe, um, let's see, this tree is here and it's got a little bit of snow. Okay, maybe I can do that. Maybe I shouldn't have doubted myself. Maybe I should have just gone for it, gone for the gusto. We'll see. Mm. Nice thick paint. Can't plutz with it too much or it's gonna, it's going to, um, get too dirty. Oops. We have a big one coming right here. This is when it's fun, is when I'm trying something new and it's, um, and it's working. I get all excited. My heart beats faster. Yeah, I like that. I like the way that's looking. Let's go over here and do it a little bit on this one. Trying to keep it, you know, that snow blue enough without too much of a, of a, um, without too much of a warmth to it because over here, the warm part of our picture is here in our focal area and over in here where it's cooler, it should be bluer. Maybe that got just a little bit too light. I'll take off some of that. I love to paint with a knife. You go so much faster. <laughs> there. Okay. And this is coming down here, very, very full of snow. Too white, scrape it off. Darker blue, it's more in the edge. Blue, white. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, let's see if we dare put any of that snow on these branches over here, just so you can see what that would look like. Isn't this fun? I love it. A little bit in here. And 
right in there. So that one is coming right out at us. I'll probably come back and knock some of this down. Now let's see here. With our knife, we want a warmer snow because now we're over here where the light is. So we're going to try to put the snow on. We'll just see if it works. If it works, good. If it doesn't, then we'll have to I'll have to show you what it looks like next show. I hope you've been watching all of the shows. Each one is finished on the next one, so in order to see a completed painting, you have to tune into that. Oh, that works. Okay, yeah. That's gonna take a lot of work, though. A lot of work. I don't know where the time goes. I know we're running out of time, though. And it's disappointing. I could be here with you for a lot longer than this. Trust me. Okay, this tree's got some snow on it over here. Uh, it's too thick. I want to make it more, more like it's a little more not so thick on there. And um, our post here is a little too thick. That's the wrong color. Oh, I'll just come in with some of that. Now, and I know it looks kind of loose, a little maybe on the messy side, but we'll fix all that next time. I'll have it all taken care of for you, and when you tune into the next show, you'll see it. Okay. Let's take some of this, warm that up, and put coming down here so that that light looks like it's spilling down here. And we'll put a little bit of snow on the on the top of my my sculpture, my flower sculpture. We'll put a little snow there and a little bit on this. And a little on this, and a little on this. There we go. Okay, I know it looks pretty, I know it looks pretty rough. I know that. But still, you can see, you can see where we're going. Just a few more little white spots up here to show a little bit of, of snow on here. And you can see where it's going, though. I think we've got a pretty good start. There's a lot left to do on it, but I think it looks pretty good. I do see one more stroke I want to take, and that's right in here. See that right there? That is, that is beautiful. And I want to make that I mean, I want to make it capture that on my canvas there. And then we do have the tree, though, that's growing up right there. So I've got to put that tree trunk in there. There we go. Okay. Well, I think we're probably out of time for today. I hope you've enjoyed my my journey home um coming in the house my bird saying give me a kiss and um going over to my living room window and looking out and there's all the warmth and the light and my front yard and 
all the things that I love, the nature, all of the animals that have visited me, the birds. This is, this is what I'm truly all about. And this is home. This is the journey home. I'm glad you joined me today. Once again, my name is Kitty Lynn Klish, and you've been on a journey with me, on a journey home. I hope you'll journey to your home for the holidays. Thank you for being with me. Bye-bye for now.